Uh, start again. Tell me about the girl. How old is the girl? Well, I can't tell you the age. Okay. We found her in the midst of the destruction yesterday with her mother and her brother. The mother is in Napa Hospital. The brother is in Igodi Zero Hospital. But the mother is fine today. And the brother too is doing fine. We were there last night about 10.30. She was doing great. And she was found at about what time? The mother. You I rescued her at about what my, time yesterday? The, the volunteers of Red Cross rescued her. At so about I can't what time? Be, in the evening yesterday. The woman that they just carried that woman and put inside inside the bus and took and, and took her to the hospital. Yes. So there was a lot of problem here. In fact, there was it still caused a lot of things. So many houses were we had broken down, glasses were we are pulled down. Uh, all the doors and all the windows, everything above the roof, every, everything was rough. So people died. So honestly, that was, so that was what I explained here yesterday. A dramatic one. It's a very fatal one, which I, I believe is not just a pipeline. It's not just, it's not just a pipeline. I think the security agents should look into this properly. And they should work on it. And I want to say people are still trapped in here. They should do more effort to make sure they rescue them out. They are still trapped. People are around. I know the security agents are around, but they have to do something. And also look into, the, into this thing, because this is not just a pipeline explosion. It's not so, just a pipeline explosion. We've experienced bomb explosion, and we've, we've seen pipeline explosion. So this is not just pipeline explosion. This is beyond pipeline explosion. Dumb is, they are yet to evacuate things there. The PTA chairman of this school was begging the Lagos State government to help them to get an excavator to come and pull all the buildings that is remaining out so that they can see if there is other dead bodies that are here. And as you can see that the school is all throughout body. There is no dead student in this school. So all the children are trapped. 70 percent of them then some by his grace people yes they helped a lot to 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 rescue some children and the sister rescued so many of the children but on her way going back there again to pick some other ones the, the house collapsed on her. so that was what happened and i tell you that this is a bomb substance as you can see over two thousand miles the the effect flight and we have been seeing bomb like bomb bomb like the explosion in this, in this country, even the one that happened last month or thereabout at Abulaya Bleba, and uh, we don't have this such effect where somebody can tell us in this world that that is pipeline. If it is pipeline, the trees here will not dry without burning. The Bethlehem Girls College is one of the schools counting these losses in this explosion right here at Apulado in Festa. Now this is one of the remains um, from this whole building. The place I'm standing was actually inhabited by a reverend father had also passed on yesterday after um, conducting mass right here and also told that the reverend sister who was a principal of the school had also passed on and plus we have to come into more details as, um, as officials try to um, find more bodies on the rubbles. I'm also told that two bodies today were actually evacuated this morning underneath the rubbles. Plus, in Africa, Mary Chinga.